All right, guys, episode number 297, 297 episodes. In this one, I'm going to share with you a medium flat rate box that I picked up at the Rochester Med City Card Show on Saturday. Paid 20 bucks for this lot. I'm going to guess it's about 3,000 cards. Usually in a medium flat rate box, is about 3,000 to 3,500 cards. Large flat rate box is a little over 5,000 cards. I don't expect to find rookies. I don't expect to find high value cards, but I would like to find 30 cards that I can put in player lots and get about a buck a piece. So Mike Trout would be about a dollar a piece on average. Shohei Otani, Aaron Judge, Julio Rodriguez for football. Really just Brady and Mahomes. Aaron Rodgers, Peyton Manning is close. And then for basketball, it's Steph, Curry, LeBron, Giannis, Tatum, a couple others. So if I can find 30 of those type of cards, they get about a buck a piece, then I should get my money back. I would assume that about half the cards will go in medium flat rate boxes and I won't keep in my collection. I sell, there you go. So those are the type of cards, 30 of the better players. There's Lillard. There you go, LeBron, off to a good start. He said he didn't take out any of the big names. I'm gonna say that's a goodie. So Pools and a Cardinals Uni, what a buck a piece on average. DeGrom, Arnado. So it's not gonna be the most exciting video, but these are the type of, there's an insert. These are the type of lots that people don't purchase. They overlook them. But if you have the system in place to do player lots, it's a good breakup value if you enjoy the sorting process. So my kids are home, it's after school. And usually I try to record videos when they're at school. Cal Raleigh, he's doing well so far in his career. So I put that down because I think if I had 10 of those, I think they go for a buck a piece. So with the kids being home, we got a pizza in the oven. We got another kid that's gonna get picked up soon, so you might hear some noise. I'm not going to edit it out because that's too much work. Show Otani Chrome. Another Show Otani Chrome. So already three stacks, and we're at about 10 so far. The guy was saying that he has a bunch of these full. He usually just throws it out on Twitter for 20 plus shipping. Um, let's say that's good. And usually they get bought up pretty quick. Mahomes. Yeah, he was, when he said he didn't take out the stars, he was accurate there. So the guy that I bought this from, I bought about 15 cards from as well. Soto is borderline dollar a piece. Pujols in a Cardinals Uni. What I've seen is Pujols in an Angels uniform gets about half as much on average. So even if it's not a, if it's a subset, it still goes for about a buck a piece on average. Here's a trout on top. I haven't seen much of the Monopoly yet, so this must have just been open. Carl Anthony Towns, not a dollar a piece. Nobody buys Carl Anthony Towns. George Pickens for a dollar. Matt Carell is borderline. He's back again to being about a bucket card. So here we're five stacks in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen already. That I'm confident I get a bucket piece for. So once I'm done with the video, I'll have to sort these, go through them all again. So it takes time. Time of the video and then time of restoring it. Another Otani. 
another Otani. And I have enough of these players where I can put together 30 different. That's what I try to do. Unless I'm down to like 30 that are some duplicates. Definitely the best advice. If you haven't sold much on eBay, but you have a good amount of cards. If you do 10, there's another dollar. If you do like 10 different, there's too many options available and you're probably not going to get a sale. There's like Wander Chrome. But if you can do 30, that's been a good number for me where it's stands out a little more. And I always do free shipping and then I promote everything at 4%. And Shoyo Tani's Trout's Brady, Mahomes, O'Neal Cruz, Rookie, Chrome. I wasn't expecting rookies in here. So if I get a little preview of this box and then paid for it, so there's Shohei, I probably would have paid 30, 40 for this. Uh, maybe since that's a Chrome, because that would add value. Lamar Jackson. I just sold 180 Lamar Jacksons yesterday. Luca. Since that's a rookie, that might be Chet. LeBron Monopoly. Jockard still got about a bucket card. Clay Thompson and Damian are close to it. I just haven't sold many Durants. The Durant lots have not been viewed much, and I haven't I've sold two, I think, out of ten. So I wouldn't put that down with confidence. Even the Aaron Judge, even if it's a team leader card, I still sell them for about a buck apiece. cards. I've sold a lot of those. I don't think I have any more Devin Booker lots right now. One guy bought four Booker lots and two Kevin Durant lots. Maybe a week ago. Embiid sells quick. Giannis. Yeah, so we're going to get well over 30 here. I think we'll get close to 100 Donovan Mitchell, I just haven't had much traction on his cards. James Harden, I haven't had any interest in him. Zion, no one, I haven't seen much buyers for him in those lots I've made. Steph Curry. I was looking at market movers and I saw the prices of Jimmy Butler and Clay Thompson rookies. Gotta list some of those soon. So even like a cheaper one is going, still call it Aaron Judge, he's still there. I add those in my lots. So I'm picking up some cards in about an hour. A local high school kid sent me some pictures and we agreed on he was asking 200 for it and just based on what i saw i think it's like 50 different autos some rookies like a degrom rookie debut there's some stuff probably i don't know 300 cards i said i'd do a 150 and he took that right away and then he had some more base and numbered cards. I think it's about 3,000 cards. I just said, do you mind if I take five minutes to kind of look through it and give you a number? And he said, that's fine. So it'd be 150 plus maybe another 50. So I think I'll show that in two videos. One, the 300 or so cards, and then one of the 
the lower end stuff. And then after this, I also have two boxes I got from Tyler, who runs the show. It was two 3,200 count, 3, count boxes for 50 each. It says, rookies, stars, and inserts. All sports, every card is sleeved. So he said 50. I said we do two of them for 80, and he accepted that right away. So I think each box I'll open on the channel. There you go, an insert Patrick Mahomes. This one might be worth listing for $4 separately. Wasn't expecting that one. Uh, Herbert cards are borderline a dollar a piece. I think I sold all my Herbert in auction maybe six months ago, so I don't have a whole lot. Julio Gold Cup. Judge. Always love Stadium Club. Boba Shet. Not quite a dollar per card. Usually 30 Boba Shets I put for 20 or 19. Same with Vladdy. Definitely a dollar per well no, because I sell these for 50 cents a card, usually in big lots. So Griffey's not up there a dollar a card. At least the lower end base cards I've been doing. Barkley Jaw does. Not even halfway done. Pizza timer will go off in five minutes, so I'll have to break away. Trout. Rookie. Hope I don't find the uh, Paul Goldschmidt or Aaron Judge in here. So I feel bad if he didn't get his credit. But I'm going to guess that he did. Spencer Strider. I think that would sell for three dollars by itself. I haven't seen Jokic cards sell for a bucket piece yet. A lot of prism. I'm guessing a lot of blasters he opened. Tatum. Lamello used to be. I haven't had much luck selling him recently. This would be a great example of you have twenty dollars to start in the hobby, put some work into it, and build up money. Edwards cards, Luca, bucket piece, Jaw, Curry. When each one of the stars has three cards in the set, they come up a lot. Chris Paul and Kyrie are about 50 cents a piece. That's what I have them in lots for. LeBron, Tatum. Yeah, a lot of times LeBron for Lakers is about a buck fifty to two bucks. If you include an insert or two. Luca. I would say we're halfway done now. Zion Monopoly, Tatum. Giannis, Embiid times two, Trey's not quite there, Anthony Davis, I haven't had much luck selling him, I 
Lamar Jackson is borderline. Cards I sold to him were about 50 cents a piece. Trevor Lawrence might be there after this next season. Luca. Love this set. Touch Gallery. Trout. You might think Babe Ruth would sell for a buck a piece, but not quite. Tom Brady. Jefferson sells for a buck a piece. Another Brady. Is that two cards stuck together? Bradshaw, good, but not a dollar. Yeah, if you have any experience selling base cards like that i'd be curious to find out i'm making a mess here you can sell them individually for two three dollars ebay standard envelope but nah, i'm not gonna do that yet maybe there's a day for that but not yet i usually come prepared and have a 5,000 count box next to me but I did not do that that time. I haven't seen that card before. It's a sweet Babe Ruth. moment the Boston Marathon bombing another Shohei it's a lot of cards in here for 20 bucks you can't even get a blaster box for 20 bucks Oh, that's my cue. O'Neill Cruz. Cal Rally. Say Suzuki. Mason Scott. All right, I gotta see if the pizza's ready. Nope, not yet. Needs 13 more minutes. Way off on the time. Are you guys impatient like me where you put in a pizza and you don't wait for it to be preheated you just put it in right away yep that's me that might be a dollar i'm gonna say no
Grace Lewis. That one might be. I've been selling some Brace and Scott singles. I know they have buyers. Same with Cal Rally. Another Tom Brady. I wonder how many people saw this box and then thought in their head, yeah, good luck selling that. I bet it probably was on the mind of many people walking by. I bet it's all trash in here. Well, sometimes cards under $3 need some love too. Justin Jefferson. Not saying I'm sad by that, people don't like it. I'm gonna have something unique on eBay. I just think there's missed opportunity. A lot of base goes. Sits in boxes and collects dust where it could be going to someone that collects that player and pays money for it. I don't get it. Mahomes. And yeah, it takes time. Time is money. Maybe that's your barrier. LA De La Cruz, that could be a dollar. Volpe, I say that's a dollar. Ooh, I gotta look at these slowly later. See if there's any short prints. Shohei, over shut. Austin Reeves. I'm going to set that over here. I'm going to list that tonight. Just a normal, I think this card will sell for five bucks. I sold the mosaic for four really quick. That was a week and a half ago. Since they're still in the playoffs, I think they'll get five. And Prism was a little more. Desirable in Mosaic. Tatum. And I think the lot that I'm picking up today had four of these already in there. So I can put a lot of five and I could probably put 29 bucks on it. Running back for Atlanta, might have been a buck. Tyler Aguilar or something. TJ and JJ Watt back to back. Fields might be close to a dollar. They got a parallel, got a couple parallels. Even had a buck, I'm not, even a, nobody buys towns. It's hard when people in Minnesota don't like you and no one across the league likes you. No one wants to collect you. He's a nice guy. He does a bunch of camps for kids, but from a collector's standpoint, doesn't have many fans. Stephen Kwan, rookie.
Pat Riley. Ethan Roberts. Grayson Scott. Wander. Yeah, I was thinking of about 30 cards I'd have here. Plenty more than that. Brand Marsh debut. Debuts are about half as much. Bobby Witt. No, that's not Bobby Witt. He's in that picture. That's MJ Melendez. Say Suzuki. I would say no. Miranda, maybe. Quan. Yes. Probably seven more stacks, let's say. Tatum. Giannis. Right, just for the sake of the length of the video, let's actually do this. Let me get these organized, and then we'll count how many cards I got here that are that I think I can sell for a buck a piece. So right here is about twenty-five, I would say. Jeff Booker, Scott, Pools. So all of these, when I'm done in the video, I'll put these all in penny sleeves. And they'll find their temporary home before I list you. Don't sleep on flat rate boxes. Base cards need a home too. A loving home, a forever home. All right, so this one I think I can sell for more than a buck. I mean, the Wander Chromes are five bucks a piece. George Pickens, that's borderline. I think that's worth the listing, $3. So look at that, dollar per card. All right, we're going to end it there. Under 29 minutes, under the timer, which will go off in about three minutes. All right, thanks for, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. We'll see you later.